Are there are there any are there any like undertones to the documentary? Do you have any motifs or themes going? Nope. I always like life from death. <laughs> so since you are leaving in uh, a few hours yeah. to Sigraf, how's it going? Like four weeks before the end of everything? Well, it's going pretty good. Uh, we we are kind of on schedule and. Uh, some of us are doing a lot of uh, shots that are like tiny shots that contain the same the same thing. Like for instance, Ian is working on holograms, and I am instead like spending all my time on one single shot. Uh, that is when the robots are uh, attacking the um, the old lady's house and. Uh, and this sequence is pretty complicated because many things are going on. Uh, you can see the robots coming through the tunnel and then a robot suddenly appears. Gets stabbed in the eye and then the camera pans up and we see other robots coming through the house, smashing the window. Uh, a lot of distraction, more robots, and then finally another robot that stops for a moment and looks over the bridge and then jumps himself. So <clears throat> this is a lot of work, uh, especially because we are blending from uh, some footage that you can see here that has to be composited with all the background to a completely CG scene. And uh, the blend happens here while we are doing this very fast camera motion and uh, have it work uh, nicely uh, requires a bit of effort because light has to match and motion blur has to match and uh, all the details have to match and be interesting and that's uh, what I'm going to do next <clears throat> I've just spent some time animating uh, these uh, leaves so that they can react a bit in an interesting way when the robots are passing by and actually you don't see much but everything is they are animated as you can see here robot is missing yeah, robots jumping and leaves and then once you have all the detail on top you barely see it but you will perceive it What, what are you currently doing? I'm currently putting a button onto a table. We see we had the original footage, which is more or less just this guy pushing, tapping on the table. Because at the time we thought, oh, we'll make it, we'll make it a, a tap button, you know, touch screen type thing. But one, that's a little bit weird because everything else is actually physical buttons. And two, just cooler to do, you know, a, a real button. But the thing is, if you're going to be putting in a CG button and going through all that work, you might as well make it something that you couldn't have just shot in the first place, because otherwise you just... There's no justification for the time you're spending rotoscoping a hand. So it's this crazy mechanical button now that... ...transforms repeatedly. So it's all working out, but it still needs to be, this is for casting shadows and stuff, but it's that first 90% that goes pretty quick, and then you have that last 10% of making everything actually work that takes two more days. Or maybe. So how's it going overall? Like, is it, how are we? Are we, are we doomed? I think we're going to go crazy at the end a little bit. I think there's going to be a whole bunch that we don't entirely realize we haven't started or stuff that we go oh we just need to tweak that or re-render that i think because all those little things where you go oh it's just a tiny glitch that we have to fix it's like yeah that's a tiny glitch that's going to take two days just to figure out why why it's doing that um but overall everything's becoming more stable as we go so i think i think we'll be okay and 
We've got a little bit of time in September as some of us are going to be making the DVD and everything, but sending stuff back to the render farm and fix tiny glitches, we can do that. But all in all, I think we will make August 28th. What are you doing? Waiting for an open jail preview. Oh, so I can watch it that's... and realize how much is wrong. Oh, it's the extension shot. Yeah. Started off with just the one robot giving Derek a big, big old cuddle. Now we've got nah, more robots. So I think there's now five, possibly six more robots. Yeah, we can add another five after that. Just now, more robots. Just a blocking stages at the moment, but doing this, figure out um, placements where the sequence seems to kind of lack robots and we want more. Uh, yeah, then I'll add more, tweak it, shift it. And once we got the layout good, then I'll go in and make it all look real. Hello. <laughs> well, we're, uh, I try to uh, create uh, a church environment. And, uh, our target is to make it uh, photorealistic, and that's not that easy. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on, and uh, then we have to uh, yeah, try things out, have a look, uh, get some critics about it, and uh, keep going. Uh, it's fun, but it's hard work. This is the church tower. Uh, first, when uh, we created the tower, we didn't use a lot of photo textures and it doesn't look very good. And then we just put photos on it and it's way better. It's very experimenting with everything. But it's cool. Yeah. So we have some city environment. And as you can see here it's uh, very simple models. And then we take pictures from the old church. And put them on all the, yeah, the meshes. Yeah, that's got pretty well. Get the good lighting on it. And, uh, makes it awesome. Yeah, that's what we do. Awesome. You can say how hot it is. It's, it's very hot, yeah. Are you suffering because of the heat? No, I'm fine. Actually. You take a swim. You take a swim in the canal. Yeah. You will come out, and tonight, you, you will try to sleep and you will notice a weird glow on the walls and you will wonder what, where does this light come from and then you will look at your body and it will be you <laughs> you will be radiating light <laughs> because of the nuclear weapons on the camera that noise thing you were saying, I was thinking that maybe... Why are you painting be, everything so white? The sea to be... Um, um, basically in the future because everything is going to be white and noise clean. Noise through the animation too. Ah, I thought they, it's... They just went like absolutely clean. clean. Ah. I thought that since we have now yeah. this weather, in yeah. the future it would just be snowing all the time. Yes. And everything would be covered with snow. Of cool. course, uh, it sucks because <clears throat> I started making it, trying to make it really nice and seamless, but now I have to extend it and slap things together so it fits into that shot. See the 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 edges; they have to. Oh fuck! Yeah, because of the projection and how everything is laid out in this shot. Here. It happens quickly. Oh, hold on. Look at it from the side view. With the bridge and thing, and all down. It doesn't line up if it's if it's so up close, so I need to extend the edges of the matte painting. If you blur it like crazy, like in this, you should be you should be able to get away with it, but uh, it's still not going to be pretty. So I just have to find a way to make it not atrocious or hopefully and that's how we do it <laughs> what geometry is there a dome a house
we can just we just do that and actually get all this because this algorithm is really nice. Right now, I'm starting to think it might be possible if we had enough vapors and stuff. Um, this one you can't even see anything. But I actually had the other one. No, that looks like shit. But it's very dark. I love the purple. It's a nice purple. Yeah. Yes. No, wait, it's magenta. I don't say it's not. But a lot of that could could actually be fixed. Feeling that one, these yeah. panels are just black as far as well. I can it's tell. is that the the lower resolution? Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well. Um. It's, yeah. Yeah. Filling this with vapor, having a little bit of vapor back here to kind of define that. Um, yeah. Lights in here and some stuff up there. I mean, it'd be a lot of time to How set, long does get that all set up. Not prohibitive. I also have the samples way down low. Um, yeah. I'm employing, you know, the cycles to noise. But. Oh, okay. Which yeah. actually looks pretty horrible. Well, if we, if you if turn we, off we the do a map projection, then. Would it be possible to have um, an option like a tick box to automatically randomize the seed? Uh, the noise seed in cycles? I mean, yeah, why not? But why is it so important? Like, okay. it's, a small, it's a small thing, but yeah. it, it's very useful because uh, now every time when we render animation, we have to uh, set it, like set two keyframes, and then give interpolation to the curve in order to run forever and increase the seed forever. So, like, the seed is animated. Oh! And it would be nice just to have it automatic because we use it all the time. The type S frame. And it's getting the frame. Except that it must not be keyed though, right? Yeah, it's right now. So that just sets it There is no way to remove, right? There is no way, of course, as usual. Yeah, yeah, actually. Um, Here's something that I was asking to Sergey some time ago, mm -hmm. and then he didn't think. He kind of tried to convince me that it exists already, yeah. and then I wasn't sure about what I was asking, and I thought, yeah, maybe I'm stupid, but then I was checking again. And basically, you can insert ah. a keyframe here. Remove, you want to remove F curve. Yes. Exactly, and it's not possible. Yeah, it's not. Because it said, oh, you cannot, you cannot. No, you cannot. You cannot. And that would be... Why not? That was like... Very, very handy. Yeah. Why doesn't someone do it? I don't know how hard it is to do. Not hard at all. You just need to know 10 programming languages. Okay. And the Blender source code. Yep. Can you like that? Okay, we just... Will you do it? He's doing it? Yeah, we'll do it probably in five minutes. Now. I'm not wrong, but it's Yeah, but it is set to CPU. Oh, this is here. This is there. Viewport. Yeah, but you have set it to CPU. Which one do you have to do that? Forever. Since now, always. 54 milliseconds. I'm not rendering, I'm playing with the 3D viewport. Yeah, but, but that's a render. Which one is that? Since oh, ever. Yeah. Since Brecht made the first lines of code yeah. in Belgium. Hmm. Yeah. Now it's always like that. I so thought you only have to shut this. No. But what does it mean to shut this then? I thought this was CPU. To pick the graphic cards. And, uh, and then you have to do yeah. this too. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, this is the quantum button. Well, you need to switch I back to I don't like to introduce buttons. I really don't like that. Well, you, you, have, you have to switch it to GPU, though. And GPU needs to be enabled. Yeah. 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 These buttons don't yeah. work. No. Oh. No, it's not. <laughs> Now let's start getting all these drawing pieces. Graphics cards. Yeah, now it's fast. Open CL. Nice. 
So Pablo, these are your last minutes on Project Mango. What did you do? Uh, I have so much. I know they couldn't have done it without ah, me. Ah, um, ah. I hope they finish. They don't screw it up, you know, because I, <laughs> I did so much already. That <laughs> uh, I was great being here. It's really inspiring. It's a, it's a awesome team. Every person is key, and uh, Sergey is coming tomorrow. So Yahoo! Awesome, nice man. And but I am. Um, is here, and Drake will be soon. So. An army of Blender Awesomeness is on the way. And Great. Uh, and you are leaving us Venom's Lab 2 here. Yeah, I think so you will get it before I do <laughs> because I live in the tip of the tip of the tip of the world and I get it like after a month or something like that. But I would enjoy it anyway. On that one Boolean spider. <coughs> So how's it going overall with uh, developing it's for? Been pretty good. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. Um, not having a panic at this point in time. So things are kind of working. What is this? Eyelashes. Your mask and eyelashes? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a scratch, actually. Oh. So it's not that mask, it's this mask. And I, yeah, okay. Come on, tell me a joke. Tell me a joke. Okay. Back to work. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Songus. What? Someone is. Songus. Do something. <laughs> oh, he's depressed. I think. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was useless. You are useless. The black level is here. Uh, yeah, well, that's, 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 strong. that's what the film shit on it. I was just test testing. I mean, that's not good. Okay. But ah, all right. still, I mean, it's still swallowing the blacks a lot. This a lot, but like this gives a bit better the idea of like the, the leaf being a bit transparent. So like, I know you can't do the transparent thing, but having a well, bit more, yeah, I more can, diffuse. No, but can be that the yeah. Having just a bit more diffuse inside. There should be a bit more balance to to. It's weird because I, yeah, I think I had some belts going on, but I could have, I could have that. Because there's a fair bit of uh, diffuse reflections on the robot itself, mm -hmm. which works great. I think it could also. Benefit. I think the only thing, since they are so so green, they are lit with a spot. They really shine. They yeah. really catch your attention. <laughs> and, uh, So, Kyatan, yeah. what are you doing? I am organizing a <laughs> compositing tree. That looks fancy. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, very, very fancy. So you have the... Can you see it? Okay. So this is my compositing tree. <laughs> so it needs to be organized. Three, three. Uh, scope shop. So we can go at the end here. It's probably broken now, but we can maybe see it. Ah. Oh. Here, see? It's the, where all the robots attack the party boat and force it down. It's a never ending, never ending uh, shop. <laughs> because it never works. It's never realistic. Uh, <laughs> Yep. 
Zardoz. So, making stuff more real with notes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With uh, adding atmosphere, adding. Uh, Effects like haze and uh, what else do we have? Light shafts. Oh, more clouds. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Rain. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot. Since this is a pretty hefty note tree, what do you think of the new compositor? Well, I think it's pretty damn awesome. I mean, before you couldn't really do anything. Uh, it would take you probably a couple of minutes before you even saw anything in this on this type of resolution. Maybe it would take you up to a minute yeah. for every time you did something. So uh, this just makes it usable. We can actually tweak. And the more you can tweak, the better the result is going to get, so you don't get frustrated. So it's, uh, it's, okay. it's really, really nice. I don't know what they did, but they really made it interactive. I'm trying to figure out how to I can improve it. And actually, I want to ask you, who did these markers? Oh, Bro. this is a strange person. I have no idea who would do something like this. Because it's horrible. Who would do that? Wow. Look at that. Some idiot has put pink markers on a moving rope. I mean, what the hell? Who would do that? Oh, it was me! Ha! Ah. Oh no, why did I do that? Well, don't worry, I, w I will fix that. I, it's my fault, so I will clean it up. Cool. But at least, uh, maybe you can fix the, the, the other mask crap. Okay, <laughs> I will try. And okay. also, so, the tricky uh, part is the, this and intersection. Wait, uh, Maybe we just can replace the original the rope, rope with full CG rope. But apart from that, how's it going with uh, with all the cleaning for all the stuff? Like, what was your like four weeks before everything? Has to be ready. What do you think? Like, how how was it, the cleaning overall with the blender tools? It was amazing, actually, because the blender had the actu actually really nice masking tool, and sometimes it even better than Fusion or Nuke or After Effects stuff. So I'm pretty Yay. happy. Awesome. I'm sitting in a chair all day. My body is turning to mush so that we can make a film. It's a very Aronofsky thing to do.